Hi Steve, thanks for coming back. We've done a couple of videos so far, we've introduced the DAR and we've talked about the OPEX model. What I'd really like to know is when you start out with the, with the cloud-based uh, service, so you know storage in, uh, for cloud, um, why wouldn't someone just use the traditional storage that's built into that platform like you know, Amazon S3 and EBS and, and the equivalent in an Azure environment? So when Sadara started, we, we looked at the emerging cloud, you know, certainly AWS, Azure, and most of their storage infrastructure was, was quite nascent. You know, it was aimed at delivering web-based technology. S3 couldn't deliver the, the latency required for business enterprise applications, but also people were in need of trying to take their existing infrastructure and push that into the public cloud. So if you needed block storage that could be shared or you needed NAS capabilities, they simply weren't there at that point. And when you look at what uh, an organization who has traditionally not been in the cloud trying to move into the cloud, they've got all of what people are now terming as legacy applications and no ability to simply move those into the public cloud and operate from within them. Well, some uh, protection of that data is quite important as well, because in a normal environment we'd be doing things like snapshotting, backup recovery type services, which are quite alien to a cloud environment really. So how do you add value in that area? So if you look at the, the traditional mechanism, you know, we've quite rightly relied on backup, snapshots, replication, but in the public cloud, they, they've not really had that capability, they've not delivered that capability. And the key is around application integration, that ability to ensure that the application is snapshot at the right time with application consistency. So we've implemented um, VSS hardware providers into the, the public cloud as well as on-premise and the ability to use our APIs <clears throat> to drive um, application consistency within the um, enterprise application space that you cannot do in a public cloud without having a system that can support it. I'm sure also when people are starting to do this more hybrid environment where they're doing a mixture of these things, having a consistent mechanism to adapt data protection is going to be even more important for them as well. Yeah, absolutely. If you, if you look at taking an on-premise application, replicating that into the public cloud, using our snapshot technology to create an instant clone without having to break the mirror means that that protection mechanism can continue while you can then use the public cloud to deliver maybe a clone for test and dev or maybe to prove that your disaster recovery can actually operate without putting the source at risk. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.